Hi, I'm Mr. Masitis, Assistant Principal at Alistrad Middle, and I've got my buddy here. McKinley Kelly. And we're going to help walk you through some Google Classroom tips and tricks today, uh, because I know that uh, with all this e-learning going on, a lot of this is new to you. So let's see if we can help uh, you understand how to use Google Classroom a little bit better. All right, so when you first turn on your computer, is this the screen you get? Yes. All right, and how do you get in? So you type in the password, which for every student, it should be their first name and their lunch number. And they should tell you that. And then you'll come up to their home screen. OK, so when you log in to the computer, you need to, this is their home screen. And you should go to Google Chrome. And you'll see these four dots up here. There's, yeah, there's dots up there. And you'll go to Google Classroom. And then when you go to Google Classroom, it should have all their classes loaded up right here. Oh, cool. So it's not just one classroom. No, it's all it's all your classes. OK. And then, so then I'll go to Debkowski. We go to Debkowski, and you'll see, she said, if you want to do all your uh, work, it's in this tab right here, the classwork, which is right in the middle. Are a lot of your classes, is it in the classwork tab? Yes. Okay. Most of the stuff. And then you go down to here, which is, this says the date, which so, is today's homework. So were these the other days? Yeah, homework? those the, were all other 16, days. 16, 17? Yes. Those okay. were all, all, all of other days. Then you'll see she has all this, and we'll go to assignment and it has everything listed out then she has a slide posted and it tells you to do the attendance what you're learning and a video for Ms. Dabkowski on what you're doing if you need to contact her there's her email there's what the due dates are okay so let's see how did how did she take attendance why don't you click on that so good roll call and you'll type in it you'll just answer these so last name Kelly First name, Stephen. And today's lesson would be surface. Why do you area. think she made you type in today's lesson? So you know, so you don't just randomly guess, so you know what you're learning about today, that That's day. Good. So do you, is the attendance the same for every class? Um, well, it, no, I know for Ms. Dabkowski, you have to type in today's lesson, your last name and first name, mm -hmm. and then the date for today. But like with, I think it was Ms. Barrett, with hers, you just type in like your name and some other stuff. Right. Can't remember. Right. Exactly. So, so it's different. It might the attendance might be different in each class. Yes. But there's still attendance in each class. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. And you'll type in a date. And you'll scroll down to your class period. This is a touch screen too, by the way. Oh okay. Because that's all you're trying to. Yeah. Is one B. And you'll submit it, and she'll get all of the people who submitted it. You'll go back. And there's today's lesson. She has a video up here that you can watch on today's lesson. So, so for the Hawk Focus, if you mm -hmm. click on that, it takes you to it. Why don't we yep. see what that looks like? Clover.com, and we do Alex Talk. So you've done this before? I have class? done this before. Okay, yeah. Yes. We would do this for 15, 10, 15 minutes every class period before class. Okay. And she's, she has a timer up here, too, for 15 minutes to do this for. Okay. And you'll launch it, and then it will top, pop up everything on what you're supposed to be doing. So you have topics that we do. All You have all these topics. It tells you the homeworks that we have in here. We have homeworks in here that we should be doing, and everything. Okay, so. great. Great. All right, and then it has lesson, and then you're saying that... This is basically the agenda right here. Okay. So click on that icon. What happens when you click the Watch Me icon? A video pops up on today's lesson. She did it for the last two. She'll have, like, that's the lesson up there. And she has the video. Click it, click it, see what it does. Okay, so this is volume. Okay, so it's her talking. Yeah, it's, it's her through teaching lesson. us okay. through the lesson. That's great. So you can actually learn that way. Yes. All right, so then what else did you have to do? A digital notebook, which is like today's lesson or like all the lessons. We'll have a slide on what to do. This is hers. She posts ones that we can only view, but then we have our own that we can like do this all on. It's like okay. a copy of hers. We have all these slides. This is all the work they're supposed to be doing. That was today's slide right here. I offered 
this is her slide, so you won't see any work done. So this is hers, and she has all these slides on the topics. So then you follow along in your own copy yes. and put it in there. And that's the like you'll go down to this topic and you'll hit con uh, control, like copy and paste it. Yeah, how do you do that? So you'll copy, Sarah already copied that, and you copy it, and then. But how, how do you copy something though? If I, so if I didn't know. You hit control C. Control C and that copies it, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to like, you can hit another extra tab. Then you go to this dots like earlier, you go down to Google Slides. Because you already have your own. Yeah, that's, that's I already have it. Got it, got it. See, and I already have mine opened. Like I already have it in. So. You did it today already, I, right? I already have it done today. Maybe, maybe, maybe I want to check it to make sure you did it right. You know, because if I'm your parent, I might be making sure There's that you the did your stuff. There's the work for all those three problems. How'd you get, wait, how'd you get that? Uh, so I did the problems and then you go to image, you'll do camera, and then you can just take a picture of it. How about that? So. So you took a picture of your work that you did? Yes. Okay, cool. Because we'll see the snapshot. So we'll do snapshot. And then she has a Delta Math, so we'll go to deltamath.com. And we did those two up there. So that's, that's cool. that. Okay. And then you can go back to here, and then that's and then you want to contact her. There's her email right there. If you have any questions, Zoom right there. Okay. And then that's for Stavkowski. So how would I see my other classes now? So if you go, to, so you see hers. If you click on yeah. this, it can go back to the home page or like the stream where she has everything. Right. And if you go over to these three lines, you can go down and like here's all your other classes. Okay. So instead of having to like go back out, go back in. So say that um, you did already did your math work today. Yes. Great job, McKinley. So I want, as a parent, I want you to work on your ELA. Okay. So I have Ms. Schuler's ELA. So you go down. To Ms. Schuler, All right. and this is everything for her. So what's okay. this page here called that you're on? This is called the stream page. What's on What's on the stream usually? Like everything it posted in order, okay. like from like when she first posted, like you can scroll down, see there's March 16th, 17th, and 18th. Right, so how do I know what, what I want to, what if I want my child to start working? What do I, how do I find out what they need to work on? Uh, you'll go up to classroom. Classwork at the or top class there? Work. Yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, and so I can see has, again all three assignments. Yeah, she right has there. all three assignments right here. And if we go to here, we can go back to view assignment. And then she, she also has a slide posted. So then she also has the roll call, the hog focus, and uh, the agenda, just like Ms. Dabkowski. It's And then today's lesson again. So it's almost the exact same thing as Ms. Dabkowski. She yeah, has a whole different subject. Okay. But a whole different subject. She has. What does her roll call look like? What does that attendance look like? Why don't we do that? So for her, she'll have like attendance questions. So like it'll she'll ask us, oh, if you wanted like, so today, so last question was, what's your favorite food, movie, sports, all that? It says if you could meet one, if you could only meet one, would you rather meet your great great grandparents or your great great grandchildren? Oh, that's a great question. So I haven't done her, so I'm gonna do it now. I can. So if I go down grandchildren all right so so you did that for the attendance so could you just do you need to keep that tab open or could you get rid of it you could you could get rid of it because it saves okay. it's safe so you'll get rid of it and then so, you'll so in the stuff that you do in google classroom through the google suites it mm -hmm. saves itself it saves everything really like so she can just come back onto this click it and see who all did it and you can see there's other people on the slide too and then so then we'll go to hawk focus which is ixl it's kind of like alex but for English and like there are different also topics kind of, so I would need to sign in. And you already know your login from her class? Mm -hmm. Okay. And probably on your uh, Chromebook, it's probably already logged in. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just not logged. I haven't completely finished it, but this is what we've been working on. So like you'd read all this and then it would ask what the, you have to, you have to click all that select to this, like what's it about, what's going on, and you'll submit it and if it, Counts it right, you get a certain amount of points. If you count it wrong, you get a certain amount of points taken off. Okay, cool. So, so jump out of this. Let's see what else you're supposed to be doing. So then you have. So you're supposed to work on that for how long? 15 minutes. Same okay. thing as Mr. Kowski. And then so you, you have. have a t so you have a timer there you can click on. You have a timer. And then you'd go to this. 
and you can read about it, like you can read what you're supposed to be doing. So, this is, so that's the lesson? This is today's lesson. So right she here. explains everything that you do. She you're explains doing. everything okay. right there. You can go back. And it's the story on, on the outsiders. Do it. Wait, outside. how did you know to click on that though? Because it's highlighted in blue. It's right. underlined. So if you click on it, there's a website that you can go to. Got it. And it's in your Google Drive. Like it's, she posted it. You can go back to here. And this is the whole story. Just story. Right. There's the end. Of, you know, but you're not supposed to read 153 pages today, are you? No. What are you, what are you supposed it's, to read? Where does it say? It says... It should say... Roll call. Did that. You See. can watch that video too. It says watch the video on build background knowledge. You're supposed to answer. It says read chapter one and questions one through four. So Got if you go it. back into the Google Classroom, right here, she has the questions one through four for what it says on the agenda. So that's what you do after you read. After you read right. all of chapter one, you come in and answer that one, that one, and then the last two. Those two. You Got answer it. all those questions. And how would you submit that? You hit turn in. Okay, so after you answered them, after all, you, you hit turn all, in. after you read it and do everything, you hit turn in. And then you hit turn in and then we turn it in. I wouldn't turn it in yet if I were you. Yep. Unless you want zero. Nope. So, so there so are that, your classes. What, for, what classes are you supposed to be doing work for right now? So I have classes for Ms. Dabkowski. Which Ms. is what class? Which is math. Okay. Ms. Schuler, which is ELA. Okay. Ms. Barrett, which is science. And Ms. Martin, which is social studies. And then uh, I have Mr. Bear, who's my orchestra teacher. And he'll post stuff in there to do like sight reads and play through and then send them to him. Okay. So, so Miss Martin's class, you're doing work. Have you done Miss Martin's class? I have class done yet? everything in Miss Martin's class. Okay. How do you find her stuff? So you'll, it's the same thing. You'll go into Google class, you'll go into classwork, and she'll have, we'll have all that, and then assignments. Scroll down. She has the assignments posted today, okay. yesterday's, and all, and everything. So. Okay. And you're able to figure that all out. Mm -hmm. It's, so, just, it's the same thing for every class. So in most classes, you're gonna, if you click in classwork, you're, it's where you can find your assignments. Yes, you can find everything that we're supposed to be doing that day. Okay, so would you say that most most students here, you feel like, can use Google Classroom pretty well? I know the students can, yes. They can. We will use it throughout the day. Okay, so Ms. Barrett, you got the same thing. You have your same thing, classwork. classwork. There we go, so Wednesday, right here. Yep. So Wednesday, we've got the assignments and it's sitting in one nice Google slide for you. Yep. Again. And you, this one looks a little different. So for Ms. Uh, Barrett, she'll have you do your attendance and then you'll do the hot focus in today's lesson, which is that video, and you'll read through that and do everything there. And then you have to your today's assignment, which is basically an agenda like everybody else. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so what happens when you click this though? Because it says click the picture below for today's assignment. You'll go Got it. To so this, this tells you what notes, this tells you what your work yep. is in there. And then you'll go to this. It says next, make a copy of this Google Forms. Okay. And you'll scroll down, and it says, "This is so just in case something happens." It's it's that, and you'll copy it, and you'll go into it, and it's like hers, where it's the view only. So that's that, and then you'll go to file. You'll go to file. And you'll go to make a copy. And you okay that. Why do you have to make a copy? So like that one, so hers was only a view only. So you can't really type anything on here. So you have to like you have to make the copy so you can actually type and do your work. Okay, so now now you can type on this. Yeah, now I can now I can type. Okay. So now I can actually type everything on there. So Yeah, that's kind of important, isn't it? Oh yeah. All right, so this, this should keep you busy for a while today, too. Oh, yeah. And you should actually be learning about frog dissection. Yeah. In case you ever need to dissect a frog as an adult. Right? Well, we were going to dissect the frogs in science class, but then this happened. Okay. So, so now you're doing, like, a digital... Yeah, we're doing, like, so we'll answer that question, like, on what we're doing for that. Uh, what do we learn about from that, from the frog dissection? And then... How do you uh, we'll answer that and all this? And I think where are you finding the information to answer those questions, though? I think it was back up here. It was this right here. 
Good, got it. So you're gonna have to actually. Yeah, virtual frog dissection. This is you'll have to do this. Everything. Oh, so it comes with instructions, yep. a whole lab, and yep. everything. You'll do all that, and then we'll go back in and answer all those questions. So got that's it. all four of your teachers. So you had work from all four of your core teachers and one elective. And from uh, Mr. Mr. Bear, Bear you had some yeah. stuff too. All right, good. And I hope you're actually learning some stuff. Yep. So. All right, well, I hope this uh, video is helpful for you. If you were struggling with Google Classroom a little bit, I hope this should show you just some ways to get in. Remember, one great thing about the video is we may have moved a little fast sometimes because McKinley likes to move fast, but you can always pause it, rewind, play it again, play something multiple times. You can kind of see how we went through some of this stuff. So I do thank uh, my friend McKinley for coming in. And I uh, thank you all for watching this because we want to make sure everybody's getting their education even while we're out of school. So thank you all and have a great day.